Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's use what we've learned in the previous video. In the previous video, we realized that when we have the special case with two partial derivatives, but c and r equal zero, we end up with a differential equation that kind of looks like this, where a is equal to x and b is equal to minus 2y. So using that as a general form of the equation, how do we find the solution to that? And we're going to look for a solution in the form where u is going to be a function of p and p is a function of x and y. So we're going to use the general form of p to serve as a solution to u. We're going to also assume that p will be constant. Remember, that's what we did in the previous video. We let c and r be 0 and p had to be a constant. So x and y had to be such that p remained constant. So we realize then that a times the parcel of p respect x plus b times the parcel of p respect y had to be equal to zero, which also meant that the parcel of p with respect x times dx plus the parcel of p respect to y times dy were also equal to zero. And that's what we found in the previous video. Then we divided the one equation by the other. We divided the right equation by the left equation, such that the partial of p to respect to x and the partial of p to respect to y would drop out. And we ended up with an equation that said that dx divided by a equals dy divided by b. And so that's the equation we end up with on the last video. Now, if we integrate both sides, so we have dx divided by x and dy divided by minus 2y because that's what x, that's what a and b were equal to. Then we can see on the left side we end up with the natural log of x. On the right side we end up with minus 1 over 2 times the natural log of y plus a constant of integration. Then taking the left and the right side and writing as the exponent of e, we end up with x equals a constant times y to the minus 1 half power. So that means that the constant is equal to x times y to the one half, and to get rid of the one half power, we'll square both sides, so a constant squared equals x squared times y. And since p is meant to be constant, we can then say that p can be equal to x squared times y. And since we're looking for a solution where u is a function of p, and in this case the function of p is equal to x squared y, that way we can say that the solution for the partial differential equation where c and r are equal to 0, and a is equal to x, and b is equal to minus 2y, we can then see that the solution can be written as a function of x squared y. Any function of x squared y, x squared y squared, or x squared y cubed, or x squared y, you could put it in the, in the uh, sign of, you could say the sign of x squared y, any function that contains x squared y will be a solution to the partial differential equation that we're looking for. And that is how we find a solution, of course, in the special case where c is 0, r is 0, and p is kept constant. And that is how it's done.